Hi, my name is Adrian and I am going to walk you through my pitch for the Auteur FIT class. So I had five directors that I picked out that I thought would be perfect for this course and I'm going to walk you through them and why. So my first choice was um, Tom Tyker, who's a German director who's about 54 years old. His career started in the late 90s <clears throat> and mid 90s actually. His film Run Lola Run was a big international hit and um, even though it's in German, it's one of those action slash love stories with great editing and great camera work that sort of moves like a music video. And so I think that's something that the FIT students will sort of click right into and see how the evolution from something like that to narrative film with films like Perfume or The Princess and the Warrior and Hollywood movies like The International, which he's done. He's worked with the Wachowskis who did uh, The Matrix. He's done, he's actually a composer as well and he's composed for um, the Wachowskis, The Matrix. So having a director who is, um, whose work ties into commercial directors that films, that uh, the students know, I think it'll be something that'll be quite exciting for them to uh, find out. So he's also worked in television. Um, his latest project is called Babylon Berlin, which is a two season series set in 1920s Berlin. And so to just watch the evolution from small independent um, German film to um, adaptations, to work that he's written, to Hollywood, to television, in addition to being a composer. So I think those attributes for a director who's still alive and has a stamp of his own, but that isn't familiar to, you know, say people like Spielberg or Fincher or any contemporary American director that has so much written about them. You take someone like Quentin Tarantino and you go, yes, I guess I could teach an auteur Quentin Tarantino class, but what do we not know about Quentin Tarantino? So yes, Tom Tyker, German director, my first pick. My second pick is actually, I was going to go with Catherine Bigelow, who's the first woman to win an Academy Award for Best Director. But I felt that her work spanning 30 years would be quite uh, compromising to condense into 14 weeks. So I'm gonna have her be the third and I'll end with her, but I'll go with Tom DiColi, who has done movies like um, The Real Blonde, um, Living in Oblivion, movies that are set in New York City that deal with uh, filmmaking which is, he's a filmmaker who made a movie about filmmakers making a movie. So I think that, I believe, was his first film. No, his second film. His first film was with Brad Pitt and Katherine Keener, and I believe it was called Johnny Swade. So, <laughs> so I think students, for students to be able to see New York City during the 80s and to see that... Um, you know, evolution of um, a filmmaker, an auteur, from small little films with famous actors like Brad Pitt and Katherine Keener, that they know as big budget Hollywood actors, to see them in these little roles at ages at which they themselves might be. I believe Brad Pitt must have been in his, you know, mid to late 20s when he did um, Johnny Swade. So I think that'll be exciting for students to see actors that they've seen for so long in movies that they perhaps have never seen. And to know that, you know, you start from, you know, the small narrative without the big budget and to see what you can do on a budget with camera, lighting, and narrative. Um, so yes, so second pick, uh, Tom DeColey, whose work involves um, The Real Blonde, Johnny Swade, and Living in Oblivion. My third pick, as I said, is Catherine Bigelow, the first lady to win a best director Oscar. She um, did a movie called Strange Days that was co-written by James Cameron, who was her spouse for a while. But she's also done movies like Near Dark, which is a vampire movie. Um, she's done um, Hurt Locker, which is a political movie about uh, the war industry. And she's also done Point Break with Keanu Reeves, which is just a thrill 
of an entertainment. And I think that for students to know that, you know, it doesn't all have to be serious and that you can work in different genres, whether it be the war, war genre, whether it's the action genre, whether it's the vampire genre, uh, whether it's the neo noir genre, science fiction, I think is great for someone like Catherine Bigelow. But like I said, her work spans 30 years, two decades, and to condense it into 14 weeks would be, um, would be on, um, wouldn't be, just wouldn't be doing her a favor nor the students. So those are my three picks. Um, Tom Tyker, German director, um, Tom DeColey, American director, and Catherine Bigelow, third director. So I will make sure that I outline the syllabuses of those three directors, submit them to you, and see what we can do. So once again, Adrian Mikasa, um, <clears throat> cinephile, auditioning or pitching for the auteur class here at FIT. Thank you so much. You know how to get in touch with me. Bye.